The senior center here is very different from most senior centers I've known. This center is really fantastic because it has something for everybody. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. You feel like you're, you have a place to go. So I've just taken this corner and I fold that up. For a lot of our seniors here in Alachua County, what they begin to deal with every single day is loss of family and loss of friends. And so they have to continue to build that social network. And I think that is really the main reason we exist. I can camp out here for and take advantage of the programs. And eventually, usually you'll develop friendships and things like that with people of mutual interests and backgrounds or maybe completely different backgrounds. The Latchville County Senior Recreation Center is now in its ninth year. It has exceeded all of our expectations and it's a great place for people to go during the day. So for individuals who need an outlet, need some social support, need some friendship, um, we invite them there, any residents of Alachua County. I think the thing that's really important for uh, the Senior Center, for people like myself, particularly if you live alone or you say you don't have a lot of family around or you don't have access to family, this in itself gets you out of the house. You, you've got things you can do here and it's a, it's a safe place to come to. The staff here and everybody here is very helpful and uh, it helps you get through the day. And uh, I think to, to me, getting out is so important because you don't want to just sit back and stare at a wall or watch TV. There are no funds directed towards the Senior Recreation Center. By hosting elder care, they were able to take advantage of some of our grants for some of the administrative space so the rest of the building is really uh, a result of donations and events like tonight, Orange and Blue. It is our premier fundraiser for the Senior Recreation Center, and it allows us to continue to provide those services at no cost. It's a nice place for me. I have a lot of curiosity still. I like to do a lot of different things, and there's a lot of stuff to do here. So we as a community have to figure out how to keep the center open and functioning at no cost or low cost to our members because if that person couldn't afford it, what would she be doing right now?